and welcome to the first official on tours vlog of Nate Emerson Golf. Listen, I've seen the comments, I've seen uh, the requests in various forms to see me hit some golf shots, and I'm a man of the people. Obviously, I want to give you guys the content you want, but you know, I've been wanting to make this video or a video like this for a little bit, but I've also been struggling a little bit because I really want to make sure I'm providing you guys with the most interesting content possible and the content you most want to watch. You know, I love watching golf, I love talking about golf, but I also love playing golf. And if me getting out there and poking around some balls is, is some interesting content for you guys, I want to be able to bring that to you. So we're just out here today. It's like two o'clock. We're teeing off two degrees above freezing. That's a side note. But we're teeing off here now. I think we pretty much have the course to ourselves. We're starting on 11 today here at Tawas in the Springs. It's a beautiful little course, pretty short course. You know, you guys will see that I'm a bit newer to the game. And uh, so this course kind of suits me. Suits me pretty well. It's not too overly challenging, but there are some tight fairways and, and good little stuff. But anyway, yeah, I don't want to ramble on too long here. I want to get into it. Let's hit the first tee shot and we'll get rocking. Also, be sure to stay tuned to the end of the video where I will be announcing the winner of the Goat Lane Shoe giveaway. All right, we got a uh, pretty short little 325 yard car to start here. Driver down the fairway, hopefully. and hold that one a little left but it's okay there it's just kind of between two fairways so all right anyways quick little backstory we're walking up to hit our second shot on the first hole i started golf the end of the summer of 2021 so this is only going to be my second year in golf i've been playing for about a year and a half which i don't know maybe is shocking or surprising a little bit because of how much i love it and how obsessed you guys can tell i am with it but that's just what happened man i got in relatively recently. I love watching it, I love talking about it, I love playing it. Get on my strong grip, <laughs> let's give her a whirl. Oh boy, I almost killed you. Oh no, I got net here. We're gonna drop that. Trying to get better and I just, that's what I love about golf. It's always a constant battle to get better and by no means am I trying to be some elite competitive golfer, but you know, I wanna be the best player I can and enjoy the process along the way. So that's what we're doing out here. This is second third round of the year right now and yeah we're just out here to have a day let's go we are. that's the flag we're just in between these trees here and about 70 yards to the flag out of the rough here playing a little bit into the wind wind's coming off the left so it's just kind of a little soft 60 degree got to flop one up center of the green We got 15 feet here for birdie on the first. I apologize. I really wish I had people out here helping me film, but it's a very expensive thing to hire people to come help film. So, you know, as we're starting off on the channel, this is the best. This is what we're doing, and uh, hopefully, you know, I'm gonna try and do my best to keep you guys engaged with the filming. So you probably won't see the ball land on some blind shots like that, but you know, we'll see. Anyway, 15 feet here, birdie. first on the next really quick before we go on here let's just do a little what's in the bag because i'm sure you probably want to know what i got like i said i started golf about a year and a half ago all of these clubs are original it's basically the first clubs i ever had other than just like a couple thrift store clubs that came in and out but this is basically all i've ever had i got this putter it's an odyssey two ball two ball putter i got it at value village which is like goodwill here in canada 5.99 five dollars and 99 cents for this one thing you're gonna learn from this bag is that you can start golf on a budget when i started golfing i didn't have very much money so i had to start on a budget and i, I definitely did the kirkland signature wedges which it's like 160 canadian dollars for lob wedge gap wedge and sand wedge 
best deal. They're amazing. They're a little light. I prefer a heavier wedge. I've uh, had the pleasure of playing around with some of my friends' Volky wedges. I like those better. But, you know, for what it is, we got it. Uh, we have a two iron, well, a four iron gapper bent down to two. This was uh, a gift from a friend. I love this thing. Mizuno 4 Hybrid. This is a new addition to the bag. I got this for $60 off Facebook Marketplace. And the driver was also a gift from a friend in Halifax. It's a TaylorMade M3. Works. Final PS to resist thorns. I realize I've been bending down this whole time. No idea if that's necessary. It might look kind of funny to you guys, but I can't tell what I'm filming. It's not anything behind the camera. The irons that I play with. I got these three iron, pitching wedge to three iron, but I lost the pitching wedge at Golf Town, which is like Golf Galaxy, but in Canada, $90, the whole set. They are Taylor made or Titleist, sorry, DCI irons from DCI 962. They're from 1997. They're as old as I am and they're really thin. That's what's in the bag. You know, first set of clubs, they've done me well. I definitely hope to be able to afford to get fitted and upgrade this year. Um, but yeah, as of now, that's where we are. Okay, enough talking. Number, hole number two. Another just about 300 yard par four. Another short one. Go with a little seven iron. Up the guts. A piece of potentially pertinent information that you guys might be wondering is, Nate, what's your handicap? Well, you're gonna hate this answer, a lot of you. It's a similar answer to what old Bobby Fairways gave on his podcast when Rick Shields asked him. I don't know, I don't have one. I never, so last summer, it was, I started golfing, like I said, in about August of 2021. So I didn't play a full season, definitely didn't know what a handicap was. Last year, I learned what a handicap was, but it was only like halfway through the season. And so I didn't, I never, I never submitted scores to us, Golf Canada, to get an official index. So I don't have one. I, I don't know. Uh, this summer, I will, of course, be, you know, signing up and paying the membership fee to become part of Golf Canada so I can get an official handicap because I've learned that it's an important thing to have. But no, hey, it's just nothing I've nothing I've ever known. So you guys are just gonna have to find out with me. All right, pretty safely on there. Just tried to ride the wind a little bit. At the line, just left it short. That was a pretty crappy, crappy two putt. I had the line there, I just really, really left it short. I'm also, I'm gonna sweat everything out today for you guys because I don't think it's fair to make my first on camera video and not putt things out. So I'm gonna sweat over those. I almost missed that, <laughs> that bar putt. I know we're only two holes in right now, but I'm actually having so much fun. I was really nervous for today. I thought I was gonna like, I don't know, I thought I was just gonna have, I did have butterflies before coming, like first thing on camera is freaky, but it's just, I'm really enjoying this, man. I love this game so much and the thought of being able to do like a combination of the storytelling aspect of golf and like making the, you know, news-ish videos, which I love, but then also being able to incorporate some of this style of content, like that's, I mean, this is so, this is fun, man. We got about 130 to the front, pins in the middle, but rather than an uphill putt, so. We're gonna play for kind of like 135, 140, something like that. Hopefully we'll leave it a little short of flight. Go. Go. I don't know if it's because it was the first part three or what, but my heart started racing over that ball. So I was just gonna miss it. <laughs> Alright, we got about 10 feet. 10, 15 feet to the hole again. Hey right, guys, what? Those little three foot downhill sliders. Having this here. I think so is a lot more nerve wracking. Ladies and gentlemen, we got what I think is the hardest hole on the course. You got hazard left water right it's a huge sweeping dog lake to the right behind those trees part is it's like 357 yards you can't really hit driver because you take on the water and the hazard so you hit an iron but then you still have a pretty longish iron in over water and there's a lot of wind today and it's a pretty small green
All right, ladies and gentlemen. So we have about one, 135, 140 to the front and about like 160 to the back. Pins in the back, three tier green. I really just want to take the water short out of play. So we're just going to try to hit one kind of towards that back number and then hope the wind kind of holds it up a bit. A little right, that should be okay. Right fringe not the best but it's okay looking up here for first little bit of short game gonna be going on here we got the ball kind of tucked in this rough the flags on the third tier of this green it's a pretty nasty little green up so we're gonna have a little probably a little chip shot trying to get it to just stop kind of near that pin it's a downhill so it's gonna be tricky to get this up and not have it run away I'm telling you what, I've never done this much thinking over those short little breaker putts. This camera stuff is... Anyway, alright, no excuses. I also realize I keep showing you my ass when I'm putting. I'm very sorry about that. See, I'm learning from my mistakes and I'm going to improve. No more ass shots on the putts. Got it. Probably the part of my game, those little like just three footers. Like, that's... I mean, I wanted to put everything out today so you guys can like see a true reflection of like you know where my game's at i guess but also because like that's literally what i suck at the most like i'm very comfortable 10 to 15 feet 10 to 20 feet i don't love super long putts and i don't love super short putts so those are kind of the two things i need to work on the most for sure right, we got about 125 center with a front pin so i think i'm just gonna play it about the number because we're in to win and it's obviously a little cold Jumped out of it, pushed it a little right. All right, really not a great result from 125 yards of the wedge. Hit it onto the fringe and have it released and fully just landed it like a foot and a half, two feet short, hit the rough and it stopped. I think everything about that putt was good except for the fact that I hit it like here. I was happy with that two putt. We're gonna rein it back in. We had a nice little par five coming up here. Kind of a, a tricky one. You can't really attack it because there's water about 265 that I can't carry, but I also would hit driver into. And so, yeah, I go a little short. It's kind of a layup, but anyway, you'll see, you'll see. All right, unsheathing my little uh, hybrid first time today. I have a problem with shutting the face at impact with this thing i think it might be like a maybe a fitting issue because i don't really feel like i swing any different than i do with any of my other clubs but i definitely have the tendency to just have the face shut and just hit like a dead left shot no that's what happened there but luckily it's fine it's just a little bit right of the power path okay so uh we have about 253 to the front which for your boy especially in the winter means no go if i had a three wood maybe i don't have a three wood so no option to go for the green here. Um, it's also over these trees, so it'd be a blind shot. So I'm just gonna hit basically six iron, something I can get over the trees, maybe about like, I don't know, leave myself 100 yards in, hopefully something like that. Little, uh, lovely little uphill lie here. I think we're pretty close. Yeah, we got about, we got about 100 to the center here. So a little uphill, gonna add some loft to the club, I think. So probably just gonna hit a little wedge. Here's where we pitched. That's the flag, and that's where we ended up. Definitely uh, took a hard hop and rolled. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, that's the second time today I've tap tapped in a putt, and I was like, hit it and then was certain it was gonna miss i gotta calm myself down <laughs> those one footers all right one of definitely the trickier holes here it's about a 205 yard par three which i mean at the best of times is tough but 
when it's this cold and the ball isn't flying very far, mixed with the fact that I just don't hit it very far. This is a, this is a tight little one. I think that's short left, but safe. I was definitely nervous about that left miss I was talking about with the hybrid, because left is complete out of bounds. All right, pins uh, up a tier from where we are. So it's a little bit of an uphill chip that flattens out to the green. So just gonna try to either hit it into the hill and have a release or carry it over and run it. I don't know yet. So. Definitely a weak, a weak bogey. That's one of those ones where it's like a little bit of golf IQ would probably go a long way to have thought through the fact that like past the pin is downhill. So I probably wanted to leave it short of the pin, if anything, to leave an uphill putt. But all I was focusing on was carrying it over the ridge. I don't know what the right decision was there. Maybe it's just be better at five foot putts. I don't know. This is actually the 18th hole here at uh, Two Off and Swing. Really nice hole. Beautiful day for it. And I can't, I can't get over how beautiful this day is. Anyways, about a 500 yard par five. So hopefully a little bit attackable. Maybe we can get one back. I'd love to definitely either par it out, but I'd love to get one back. Might have a chance. Might have a chance to go for this. Okay, so walking up to the ball here, we still have still about 218 to the center, 200 to the front, which like I said, it's a bit if you can tell but there's water left there's water right it's a pretty small little green up there and after those stakes there's like a creek only just in my opinion it's just not worth sending so we're just gonna lay up on this one Boo! all right definitely didn't get a hold of that last one as much as i would have liked to but they about 100 yards in they hit the flag it's front of the green so i think i'm just gonna go pretty much hit the number and just go right at it Good. Bit of wind that didn't really account for, but I think we should have probably about seven or so feet up the hill. Just another little bit of scenery here for you. Okay, so definitely a bit more like 10 feet up the hill, but you know, it's up the hill, it's a little left, right. It's a putt I definitely feel pretty confident with, so I'd love to drop in first birdie for you guys. I saw that turning at the end there and I thought it was going to turn right outside of the cup. I was going to miss another one, but all right. So sort of the front nine, it's the back eight, I guess. Uh, that takes one off. So I think we're two, two over par right now. One birdie, three bogeys, the rest par. All right, another little 300 yard par four here. Uh, we're going to play just a little bit of a cut, hopefully just to the left of that first call evergreen tree. touch fat but it'll work and by a touch fat we mean completely fully fat we we're uh, 170 yards when we hit that that hybrid so at about 135 140 the pin here bunker hit the number we want just pushed it ended up in the bunker here thankfully missed that water but basically pin high with a good amount of green to work with so should be able to put a good little little splash on this one hopefully get it up tight definitely underestimated that lip or the hill that i had to climb up and i think i i swung for that and too far All right, we got about 155 here, a little short, a little short par three. The tees are up really far. Usually they're way back there, but winter they just move them up quite a bit because it's literally like a degree above freezing right now. 
Um, and also, this part of the course, I don't think gets any sun. It's literally like a rock. The green back there, I couldn't even, I couldn't, there was no divot to repair, or no pitch mark to repair. It was wild. Catch the beat. Go. That was nuts. I was so, this green, like rock hard. There's absolutely no give. So I felt like leaving that one insanely short was my only option. I'm not gonna lie, I'm almost more tickled pink with that par than the birdie on the par five. I was so nervous with this green. Four, about three, 350. All right. All right. Okay, so we missed right, but honestly, it's the spot to miss. We're only we only missed by like ten yards of the fairway, but this is a perfect angle in. We just got a straight look at the flag up there. You can only see in the sun, but we're about 142 to the center, pins at the front. So probably gonna play it like 145 or so. Thin, but it's gonna work. Jumped out of that one, caught it thin, but it's okay, it's a little short. All right, this has definitely been the hole of appropriate misses so far. Caught that one a little thin and knuckly, but it ran up. We're short of the green uphill. This fairway is so frozen that I can definitely just putt up here. And I kind of trust myself leaving it short of the hole better with a putter than a wedge. So, just gonna roll it up. Not hit that hard enough out of the rough. Do it. Oh. All right, we got about 160 to the pin. It plays a little uphill. And there's a little six iron here. Try to zoom in and post and show you, but I think it jumped about 10 feet in the air. That's insane. I don't know if that's on the back edge or the oh, ran. I don't know what happened there. I'm pretty sure I hit that pretty high in the. Well, I did hit it pretty high in the air. It pitched here, right there, and it rolled out like a good 25 feet probably. Somehow I ended up on the back of the green. That's. I mean, it literally jumped 10 feet in the air. I zoomed in on my phone. I couldn't see couldn't see it so i don't think you guys would have been able to make it out but it literally jumped 10 feet in the air these greens are four of them barely tapped that first putt it wasn't even that on like it wasn't even that downhill it's just we're playing on ice this is hockey i'm playing hockey right now all right tougher tougher driving hole par five fifth here trouble left not the best right but can try and hit a smooth one here hopefully right center of the fairway hey i got a hold of that one it was going up the left side but i don't know if it stayed in or not ladies and gentlemen uh good news bad news situation here we found the ball but it, it was it was in the it's across the creek so that's no good I'm gonna take a drop also bad news the direct line to the green is very much blocked by this tree. So we're only like 200 yards out, but we're gonna have to lay up. You can tell how, how cold it is by the divot. The back we were hitting these nice, like, or the front, I guess we were hitting these nice, you know, beaver pelts. And now it's just this, like, oh, that's frost. It's frost. Usually your hands only hurt when you thin a shot or hit one improperly. In Canada, when you hit a shot flush, your hands hurt because you hit it against ice. I mean, I definitely don't want to be complaining. Got a putt at par, but like, I probably landed that thing on a normal green with enough spin to hit, stop, 
be in line with the pin, but instead I think I'm like back edge and got like 15 feet in for par. Like it's just hitting. And it's like a pool ball hitting concrete. That's what it looks like and sounds like. Okay, saved a little bogey there after the tee shot went rogue. These uh, these greens are I, like the back. This is so different than the first nine we played. All right, nice little 320 yard par four here. Straight away, let's go. Okay, so just over here on the right rough, that's the tree I was talking about. It's obviously not like in direct line to the pin, but those overhanging branches with a short wedge shot can sometimes nick the ball if I hit it too high. And it's a front pin. And with how icy these greens are, if I try to land it anywhere near the pin, it's just gonna run over the green. So I almost have to land this short in the fringe and just accept I'm not hitting the green here and just like try to play for a par, I don't know. Hold it. Okay, so we pulled it a little bit, but it kicked off the top of this hill and just kind of skirted it the rough right there. So a little downhill slider for, for a birdie here. Pushed it and pushed, well, pulled it and pushed it. Pulled the wedge, pushed the putt. Pretty sure this is the shortest par four on the course. I think it's only about 280, 289 or something like that right now. So it's gonna hit a little six iron. It's kind of tricky. It's kind of a bit of an island green again with a small little run up. So just gonna try to hit a six iron a little bit left of those bunkers. Good. All right, got about 102 to the center, but I'm having a hard time wanting to play it that because I feel like with the iciness of these greens, it could just skip past again. So we're gonna leave this one maybe a little bit short on the landing and hopefully it'll run to the back pin. This fairway actually is, I mean, obviously you can tell by the divot, that this fairway is a bit more relaxed. So I think the green also, because that one sat pretty good. So I think this might get enough sun. The mountain's not blocking it. The next couple holes might be okay. Give it scope. Take some. It's gotten colder since the sun went down. Eyes are starting to water over the putts. All right, well, three holes to go. I think we're gonna do it. I think we definitely got enough daylight. We have a par five here, and then we have a par three and a, another short par four. So, I don't know, maybe, well, I'm not gonna try to set an angle. Let's just try to go with five over right now. I'd love to get one back on this par five if possible, but let's see what happens. over here adjacent to the third fairway or something like that but the par five is a dog leg so we're actually have a really straight shot at the green here we're too far out it's like 245 but i'm gonna hit my hybrid just right at it anyways because with how hard the greens have been i'd rather have just like a chip than like a long full shot so that worked okay so we did exactly what we wanted we left ourselves with about 50 yards the pin here well 50 yards to the front probably 55 to the pin i haven't gone up and checked it and if i wasn't so lazy i would to see if the green's frozen i don't really feel like walking all the way up and back so i'm just gonna basically play it a little bit short worst case just leave us an uphill birdie but did you hear that i don't know if the iphone will let me zoom in but Ladies and gentlemen, that just hit the flag stick. All right, so after hitting the flag stick, this is what we're left with. About five feet, slight little bit of a side hill line for birdie. I'd love to take advantage of another par five for you. I 
That one feels good, folks. Gets us to four over. One off, four over. Ladies and gentlemen, not much to say on this one. Short little 115 yard par three. Try to fit, my hands are freezing. Long uphill two putt, but I don't know. I really didn't want to send that one over. It's definitely the worst miss here. And then also being too far at it, could skip over. So played it a little bit short, a little too short, stunt back. Oh well. that gets harder when it gets darker like significantly is putting it's hard to read but escaping with a two butt i'm happy with one hole left all right ladies and gentlemen final hole of the day here if you've made it if you've made it this far just know i appreciate the heck out of you guys this has been so fun for me i love i love doing this i enjoyed it a lot more than i thought i would so if you have made it this far let me know what you think in the comments below if you want to see more of this what can i do differently to make the video better for you guys i'm definitely all ears so Let's try to finish this one off. I'll try to hit a good one for you guys. And yeah, it's just thank you. Appreciate it. One twenty for the front here. They've been playing a little longer since it's been getting dark. It's already cold, but getting a little dark. So we're gonna play this maybe about 125, 130. Happy with that. The screen's much more like the ones we played on the front because it's closer to the front or the back, whatever. Anyway, little uh, 10 foot kind of right to left. Love to slide in a closing bird for you guys. missed that one a little bit low side good speed able to tap in for the par all right so that means we're walking out of here with a four over 74 this is a par 70 i mean i i have every ability and frequency to shoot in the 80s to high 80s so like this was this was definitely a good round for me don't get me wrong this was not an average round i think i played well and i think maybe it was a bit of the pressure obviously it's a shorter course uh, i think and these can like in the winter it's topping out at like maybe 58 6 000 yards so like quite quite short but obviously you kind of doubled up with the fact that right now it is zero degrees celsius and the greens were kind of like icicles for about half the course so i think it kind of balances out the distance and whatever but nevertheless it's something you have to take into account as a shorter course but yeah man that was that was a lot of fun i really enjoyed it i hope you guys did too if you did be sure hit that subscribe button let me know in the comments down below and yeah more of this coming hopefully you guys like it before i let you guys go big thank you for watching this video and being subscribed to the channel the winner of the goat lane shoes giveaway is my homie jake belcher on screen jake if you're seeing this dm me on instagram we'll verify that it's you and i'm going to get you hooked up with your pair of goat lane shoes for the rest of you be sure to subscribe to the channel we got lots more of these giveaways coming it's very exciting and lots of great content thank you guys and i'll see you later